hello guys welcome back so now in this video we are going to add a drawer widget we will implement the drawer widget that is we will add a navigation drawer to our home screen so here on the app bar for which we will have a, a hamburger button in order to open up and close the drawer navigation drawer so for that purpose we will create a drawer widget so right click on live first of all for all the widgets that we will create in this project for that we will uh, create a new folder okay so right click on lib new directory and we will give it name as widgets and right click on this widgets folder new dot file and let's give it name as my underscore drawer and then press enter so where my drawer dot dot file has been created successfully inside the widgets folder now import the material dot dot and let's create a stateful widget for the drawer widget and we will give it name as uh, my drawer just like this as this will be a drawer widget so we can say return drawer and the drawer background color will be colors dot black 54 child list view children widget first of all we will create a header for the drawer that is the head and then we will create the body of our drawer widget okay step by step we will implement that now before we proceed here on the home screen just to see the result on the runtime let's uh, call here our drawer so above the app bar we can simply say drawer which is the property of scaffold widget okay drawer and here we have to call our my drawer and now if you run the app then you will see this hamburger button okay and if you click on it then it will show you this drawer so it is so simple and so easy in flutter okay to implement a drawer as I told you first of all now we will add a header for our this drawer and then the body of this drawer so in the header we will display a profile picture and the username okay so first we will add a container widget and inside this container we will implement our overall header for this navigation drawer now we have to basically apply some padding on it as in sets dot only and from the top it will be 26 and then from the bottom it will be 12 as these uh, values will remain constant so we have to add a const modifier alongside with it as I told you guys uh, in the header first of all we will add a image that is to display the user image and then we will display the username so we will be displaying two things so we will use a multi children widget which is basically the column widget we will use for that purpose and you guys know that column is a multi children widget because we are going to add two things inside that multi children column widget first one is the uh, image that is the circle avatar for displaying a round image of the user image basically and then the next thing we will display the username using the text widget so let's just do that quickly so we can say child column widget children first of all we will add a I mean display the user profile image so we can simply write here a comment user profile image and then we will display the user name so for the user profile image uh, first of all we can use the circle avatar and we can say background image as the image will come uh, the image URL will come from the file store database so we will use the network image 
and you know that we have not yet implemented the user registration part so for now we will just display any image from Google okay but later on of course we will change this uh, circle avatar code okay where we will display the actual profile image of a user after when we implement the sign up screen where we will basically allow the user to upload any image the user wants okay that is their profile image for now just go to Google search any image you want okay I will simply search an image of trees for example let me just display this one okay and what I will do I will simply right click on this image and copy image address okay copy image address and then come back here and inside this double quotes you can simply paste that just like this as I told you this is just for now later on uh, when we implement the sign up okay for a user then we will uh, display here the actual image of the user for now we just play this just to check that whether it is working or not and then after the circle avatar we will uh, display the user name okay for which we have right here this comment so we can use the text widget and make sure to put a comma here and then we can display like user name okay let's put a comma here then after it you can see the result here at runtime okay as you can see here we need to add some space between the image and the user name so here I will simply add a size box of height 12 let's apply some textile on the username so we can set textile and the color for this will be color start gray and then the font size for this will be 20 and the font weight for this will be font pad dot bold just like this okay so this is all about our username now we want to increase the size of this okay of this circle avatar I mean the user for profi user profile image so in order to do that we have to wrap this in a container okay just click here before the circle avatar okay click here and you will see this yellow bulb click on it and simply wrap with container okay and now we have to specify the height and width for it so I will simply give it 160 and the width will be also 160 as you can see here it looks more beautiful now so it is totally up to you if you want you can decrease it to 120 height and 120 width so it will becomes uh, I mean not too much big okay for example according to your need you can simply fix the design so yeah it is totally up to you I will go with 130 height and 130 width just like this now this was all about our navigation drawer header okay this will be our header and now comes the body part okay so let's just minimize the header okay and let's implement quickly the body so let's just add a container inside which we will implement the body for this drawer navigation drawer we can apply some padding here const and edge insets dot only and from the top it will be one then we can say child column widget children widget as you know that in the body we will have multiple buttons for example history home logout button and uh, the uh, new orders button like my orders button okay so that's why we have to use the column widget which is a multi children widget that is we can add multiple uh, widgets inside column okay at y axis or you can say at 90 angle like for example we will have home 
then let's say my orders then sign out button and so on we can keep adding as much buttons as we want according to our project requirements now in order to make the design further beautiful we will add here a divider just to differentiate between the header and the body of the drawer so we can add here quickly a divider widget height for this will be 10 and the color for this will be colors dot gray as you can see here and then let's apply some thickness on it so 2 will be good okay just like this now after that we will add our first button which will be for home so we can use a list style widget and we can say at the leading of this list style we want to display an icon so we can say const icon and the icon will be icons dot home and the color for this will be colors dot gray just like this okay and then after it this is at the leading now the title for this list style will be home button of course that is home so we can simply say title and using the text widget we can say home and then apply some text style on it quickly we will only change the color of this text which will be colors dot gray and then of course the third property for the list style will be the click event which is basically the on tap so we can simply say on tap okay just like this for now we will just leave it empty later on of course we will implement it when we will work on our when we will complete our home screen and all the other options which we will add now after that let's add our divider okay so after the home button or you can say home list style we will have this divider just like this then the next button we will have is first of all let's just copy this list style alongside with this divider widget okay just like this copy it and then the next button we have will be basically my orders okay and let me just quickly add comments then we will have the not yet received orders button and then the history and then the search button and then at last we will have our logout button so now we can quickly copy paste this okay list style alongside with this divider okay just copy this and now for the my orders paste it okay instead of home we can say my orders okay and then the uh, icon for this will be re order just like this and then copy paste it here for the not yet received and it will be not yet received orders okay and the icon for this will be picture underscore in picture rounded this icon okay and then the next one we have is the history so copy paste it here also and for the history we can simply change this to history and for the history we will use the icon which will be by the name access underscore time then for the search we have search and the icon for this will be search icon okay and then at last we have the logout button so we can say logout or you can say sign out 
and the icon for this is by the name exit underscore two underscore app this icon okay so this is all about our this beautiful navigation drawer side navigation drawer in flutter with a transparent color so in this video we have successfully implemented the navigation side navigation drawer also if you want you can add here some space okay that is after the username which is basically inside our header let's just minimize the body okay open up the header where we implemented username so after the username let's add a size box of height 12 okay so it looks more beautiful now so yeah that's it for this video